Hello and welcome back to A's Face Garden. <laughs> I started this video off two weeks ago um, when I was potting on the early tomatoes but then the next day it just snowed and it snowed for the next couple of days. So what this video is, is going to be is just the general catch up for the last two weeks really. Um, I've got to desperately do more um, seed potatoes, plant these up. What I'll do is I'll do a close up of them. But what they are showing is the the stolen is coming off them now. And that's a ratty and that's a Vivaldi. What the stolen is, is once you put the, the potato into the ground, um, whatever depth it is, in between the potato and the, the top of the soil, these runners come off the stem and that's what the potato um, forms off. So <laughs> I, I've not seen stolons. I'm, I'm presuming they are stolons uh, come off chits before. So <laughs> they, they, they do need uh, they do need uh, potting on. Right, so this is the Vivaldi and this is the, the Ratti. And if I can zoom in there, you can just see the the stolen starting to come off it and this is the the ratty and you can just see again the the stolen starting to come off that that's quite a long one at the moment right so i've got quite a few of these potatoes like this so i'm probably going to do about 10 pots later on in the video and i'll also be showing you the the, the tomatoes the early tomatoes and the uh, peppers. Well, what I'll do first is I'll just show you or give you a quick update of how the greenhouse is doing because um, everything's flourishing in here even though we've had the snow and the I think we got down to minus seven six or seven um, last week. <laughs> it's been quite a cold and wet um, March for us. Right so the mizuna is doing okay uh, we're taking quite a few pickings off that at the back here we've got um, some of the charlotte potatoes and the fig is doing okay there and we've got the onions coriander and quite a few of the the radishes which haven't yet um, germinated and coming down here the strawberries are looking okay They've still got a bit of the green fly on them but as you can see all the potatoes the the ratty potatoes and these these were the real small <laughs> seed potatoes I'm, I'm breaking the rules here with putting you know six potatoes seed potatoes into a pot but what i can do is if i get too many stems coming up i can always cut them um, so it ends up with just one or two stems per uh, potato. Right, so the spinach is doing okay. Um, probably start on that this week. Get some nice baby leaves. These are the next lot of pea shoots which haven't come up yet. The onions, they're doing okay. At least these are standing up, the others aren't. I always have to watch out for the... Uh, the big bees in here. If you leave the door open, they do come in. <laughs> and then we've got the sweet peas. I've done okay on that. The, that one hasn't germinated because I did three. So that's that's okay. Should be all right. I have a tendency of uh, <laughs> bunching them all up. Right, so these are some of the clips of the snow that we got and also the parsnips that we had at the weekend. You know, this March has been completely different from last year. Last year we had a couple of weeks of um, hot weather and that's when I was able to start sowing the, the parsnips. This year it's just snow and rain. So fingers crossed for April and that's probably when I'm going to be starting the, the parsnips this year. Because at the moment it's just too cold.
and today I'm going to be potting on the tomatoes, the peppers, the aubergines and the chilies as well as some coriander and the basil even though it's just started I'm going to pot that on as well um, because I'm missing watering at the moment so I just want to pot everything all on and uh, get it going again. These are the house tomatoes and uh, they're really flying at the moment. I thought they'd be a little bit smaller at this, at this point. And these are the bullhorn peppers. So they're the bullhorn peppers and they're the napier and capier uh, peppers. So I've got quite a lot of the, the sweet pointed peppers. But my bell peppers, they're just not really germinated. Um, we should have found that again last year, so we'll see how we go with those. Um, but we're okay with just having the, the sweet pointed peppers. And then we've got these tomatoes, which are the Grush Hofka and the Litar. And we've got the Black Beauty Aubergine. Not too bad on the germination. And the Czech Early. I've got quite a few of the black beauties where the seeds have wrapped up the the baby leaves so that's not been the best. What have we got here? We've got the red and yellow small um, teardrop chilli and I'm doing that because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'll put the name down at the bottom again like I did in January and then we've got the lemon and the white habrino um, chilies as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just put these back into the kitchen and just start off with the tomatoes because it's getting a bit chilly at the moment right well i'm just going to do one of these grushovka first just use the chopstick to tease them out That was quite close. Nice size roots on that. And what you do is you just lift it up by the, the baby leaf so you don't affect, uh, damage the stem. Because if I can just show you closely, these are all the, the hair roots. Right, and that's how I, I, I do my tomatoes. And the next time, I'll I'll just all I do is just uh, do an inch of um, soil in a big seven and a half litre tub, and then bury it down to there, because these will get really laggy, because I'm just growing them in a window at the moment. But that's what I want. So those hair roots. All these hair roots, as they continue going up, they'll just become roots then. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll show you um, how I did it last year with the, the tomatoes last year. Right, so these are the tomatoes I potted on <laughs> actually two weeks ago and I also did the peppers, chilies, aubergines and the, the basil. So I've got 13 of the Groshovka, 5 of the Latar and 15 of the house. Uh, this is supposed to be a uh, house and um, that was all from Save Seed. So I might have just uh, 
mix this one up <laughs> a little bit because this one's flying. A house tomato, it's a, it's a real handy tomato to have um, to, to grow because it's, it's meant to be growing indoors on a windowsill uh, south facing. So I'm going to do that this year mainly because I'm going to have no space in the greenhouse and, and see how they go. Um, and then I may do another sowing of these in June because I've got plenty of the seed left. Um, it's the same for the Gwashofka and the Latour. I've got plenty of the seed left. Um, ironically, on real seeds at the moment, those two have sold out. And the house tomato, they're going to get some more seed in uh, in a couple of weeks' time. So yeah, I may do another June sowing of this and uh, see if I can get a crop off them in September time, August, September, late August, um, September time. And yeah, we'll see how those those go um, indoors. Uh, so what I'll do now is just do a, a quick, quick close-up uh, of them. All right, so these are all the tomatoes. They're all looking pretty healthy. I know they're all pointing towards the the window but I can change them around and also stake them when they get a little bit bigger and these are the chilies and the far end is the basil these are the aubergines and the teardrop chilies and then I'm going into the uh, peppers I only need about 10 to 12 peppers but I've just grown a few spares as well just in case Right, so the next bit is the potatoes. Right, so these are the seed potatoes that I'm going to be using uh, this time round. Yeah, you know, I'm using the, so we've got three off of the Durati, one short and six of the Vivaldi. And I am still doing the, the six off for the Ratti in a 15 litre tub. Now these are just small, very small seed potatoes and they've only got one chit on them. Now normally I would say, you know, I work on the ratio for first and second earlies, then I'd do seven and a half to ten litres per each seed potato. And that'll be for probably a large seed potato. This I'll probably class as a, a medium sized seed potato uh, this one's a charlotte and then for my main crops i would work on a 10 to 20 litre ratio uh, for each seed potato but all these are my own seed potatoes and these are the ones i've got really small uh, potatoes which have been left over from last year so i don't actually know what ratios I can get away with, you know, so I, it, it, <laughs> it really is just an experiment to, to see what, what can I get, get away with. Last year I was doing experiments to work out what I could do this year, but that was on buying in my own seed potatoes. This way, saving the potatoes from the year before, I'm, I'm saving money. So I'm not spent anything on these potatoes. And again, I'll be using rejuvenated compost. So the cost is really low, but I don't know what ratio I need to use for these this size seed potato. And like I said earlier, if we get too many stems, so the plant is, is too crowded, I can always just cut some of the stems off and uh, let the rest of the the stems uh, breathe. So yeah, it's a complete experiment. Right, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm not going to do the whole potting thing on the video, so I'm going to leave the video here now. So like I always say, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to see you again.